Hi guys, so I'm here at um, Trail Guide to the Body, um, presenting spine and thorax um, at Trail 2, uh, where you're crossing paths. Okay, we're, uh, we're still at page 1, uh, I mean we're forwarding to page 177, looking at image 4.26, um, this is um, posterior view, while well, partner is, is standing, okay? So as you can see here, the spinous process of L4, and this is the iliac crest. Okay, so from the iliac crest, you can uh, go ahead um, and feel, I'll palpate that. Okay, so several spinous processes can be located with the help of intersecting bony landmarks. For example, a line draw drawn between the tops of the two iliac crests with line drawn will cross the spinous process of L4 which in turn leads you to its neighboring processes. Because everyone's body is unique, these intersecting landmarks are not definitive. They are best used as guides, okay? So when you are there, you know that you are at L4. So L4 on the top of the other crest uh, with your partner either prone or standing, you're gonna locate the lateral aspects of both iliac crests. With your index fingers along the top of the crest, slide your thumbs medially meeting at the spine. Isolate the large knob of L4. Explore superiorly and inferiorly to the adjacent lumbar processes. Okay, so to, for you to confirm this, um, are you at the level of the iliac crest? Can you feel a firm protuberance at the midline of the body? Okay, so um, again, the spinous processes is the midline protuberance. This is uh, the ridge line the, uh, in the middle is the spinous processes okay and you um i did a video in um in addressing uh, the type of protruber, protruber, protruding that's happening is either going down in the going uh, pointing that way or downwards right the spinous process okay so now we're going to go ahead and uh, feature the 4.27 image here where you can see a posterior view of a partner um, standing. Okay, so as you can see, the therapist is locating the 12 rib. And you can see here is the spinous process of T12. So the 11 and 12 ribs do not attach to the costal cartilage. We have to know this by heart. And are therefore considered floating ribs. So the 12 rib has a slender spear-like shape and angle, angles inferiorly. It may vary in length between 3 to 6 inches and can be used as a locator for the spinous processes of T12. Okay, so we're going to uh, check more um, images later on as we go ahead and we look for um, um, ways to palpate. So, so for a partner in prone or standing, the strategy is to locate the tip of the 12 rib and follow its shaft to the spinous processes. Reaching across to the opposite side of the body, place your hand along the lateral edge of the ribs. Okay, so you're going to slide inferiorly to the bottom of the rib cage and explore for the top of the 12 ribs. With the tip isolated, gently follow the shaft of the rib medially, noting how it lies at an angle. As the rib lies deep to the erector spine and muscle, you might lose contact with its most medial portion. So you're going to continue to slide your fingers in the direction of the shaft, palpating for the spinous process. Okay, so you're going to ask your question if you have located L4. Can you now count the processes up to T12? So again, um, those questions are to confirm. So I'll see you guys in the next video.